Welcome to the Morningside Elementary School Garden. I'm Michelle Kimmins, one of two co-chairs for our garden, and I'm going to give you all a rundown on how we do watering. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all your volunteers who've decided to come out and help us water this year, as well as help us with all of our other events that are coming up. So let's see here. First thing to think about when you come to the garden is we need everybody to check in at the front desk and receive your visitor's badge there. And then you'll come through the school building out into the garden. Here we are. And uh, please be sure not to prop any doors open. And as you leave, uh, there's a gate to the garden if you exit that direction. Please be sure the gate is closed and secure. All right, so we have three main areas that we would like volunteers to help us water. The first one and the most critical are our six potted trees here. They're all in the same bed. You can see they've got their pots here. And uh, oops. <laughs> and those uh, are definitely going to need some watering at least every other day. Um, our second section is the kindergarten and first grade garden, which is located just behind the pots. You'll see it there against the building. And we have one more spot, which we have to walk around the rosemary here. And it's these three small beds here with the strawberries and some herbs. We have a sprinkler system, but our sprinklers don't reach those three areas, so that's where our volunteers need to help us out. All right, so now let's get down to the nitty gritty and I'll show you how you turn on and off the water. Watch out for the hoses. We got a creek back here. So as I said, we have a sprinkler system that waters the main portion of the garden. It's located right here on this left hand hose. Um, it is set with a timer. So the first thing to notice is this uh, spigot valve here. You never want to turn that off because that is the main water that feeds our timer. This valve should also always be located to the on position. So you volunteers should never have to mess with those three things, the, the valve, either of those two valves and the timer. If for some reason at the other valve outside that I'll show you in a moment is off, you can check this side. This one you can turn on and off, and sometimes the maintenance people will come back here and turn it on or off for us. So you can just turn that to the on position and then follow this hose, and there's a much simpler um, hose valve out here to turn things on and off. Follow that hose and it brings you right here. Now if for some reason the hose you're trying to water off with is off once more, you can just turn it on or off right here. Currently it's in the on position. And if you follow this hose, this big pile that we tried not to trip on earlier is our main hose that will reach all three locations. 